Hi, today I'm going to show a way to use the hill module to remove the stars and work on the deep sky object to reduce noise, improve in um, detail and then layer the stars back in. So what I've done already is, this is a narrow band image of the Elephant Trunk Nebula. I've cropped, developed, wiped my three sets of data, hydrogen, alpha, oxygen and sulfur, and they're ready to blend. I'm going to use a slightly different method than uh, I've been using. I'm going to compose and I want to select here LRGB. I'm going to open up my sulfur as red and I'm going to open up my oxygen as blue and instead of opening hydrogen alpha as green I'm going to use the hydrogen alpha as a luminance Okay, so we're all ready to make a star mask. So I'm going to do an auto star mask. Raise it up to about 15 sensitivity and see what it brings us. Okay, I've got to fill up the rest of these stars just by using flood fill lighter pixels and clicking on the edge of the stars. So I want to get a decent star mask, so I shall come back to this once I've finished filled the stars in. Got a decent star mask there. Not too worried about little tiny stars. I'll be removing them completely. Um, I'm looking at all the nice brighter stars. I'm going to save that and use it now and later. So I'm going to stop tracking now and no noise reduction. I'm going to go to the hill module and new darker than old and see what it comes up with. Okay, so that's pretty much I've left a star there. Um, so I'm going to go to the mask, there it is, and fill that star in, keep, right, so the stars are removed, don't worry about all the halos and blobs left, we'll be dealing with that, so we're going to keep that, now this part, we need to clear our mask, Invert it and go to the layer, undo background, subtract, and we've got our stars. So we keep that and save this as our stars. We'll be layer working on these and then laying them back in. Once we're finished on our nebula. Okay, so now we want to undo. It brings back to our nebula. Now we're going to go back to the mask. Open our star mask. Mm. 
And now I'm going to shrink it once and then grow it a bit. Now what I've got to do is try another wipe on this. I'll keep that. We're going to do a few wipes. Not wipes, sorry, heels. Do the same again. Okay, we'll keep that one. And go back to mask. Clear it. Now we want to get all the halos we've got left. So I'm going to use lasso. Just going to do a lasso around anything I don't like. All the little halos left by stars that we didn't get on the first white or two. This is where you can spend a lot of time. And there's lots of little halos in here. We'll reduce them as much as we can without spoiling the picture. So I'm going to do a few more of these halos and come back. So I think I've got most of the halos um, smudges left in the stars. Just going to try doing a, an automatic mask. See if I can pick up a lot of these smaller stars again. So I want to add new to old mask. Filter sensitivity and we'll try about 20. It looks like it's got quite a lot of them. This is all going to help with reducing and making a nice smooth image with some uh, nice detail in there. So let's try another wipe, uh, not wipe, another hill and same again here, new darker than old. It's done a pretty good job. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to keep that and uh, invert the mask, mask back. Oh. To a full mask. Hold a minute. Now, what we need to do now is because we've stopped tracking and done no noise reduction, we are going to select linear and we're back to where we were just after adding the data, but we've got a lot cleaner image at the moment. So, my next part is to go to the color and bring in our colour. I'll probably I reckon about 300 on the uh, saturation amount and let's see how it looks. I'm going to go a bit higher, try 375. I'm not using the, the Hubble palettes up here because I haven't used the green channel. Okay, that's fine. I 
don't mind it being over a bit oversaturated at the moment. I've got a couple of star bits left, which I'm not really that happy about, but we will sort them out. I'm uh, not too worried about it being slightly oversaturated at this point. So now we don't need deconvolution because we haven't got any stars. I'm going to do the stop tracking again. But this time I'm going to do denoise, the classic version. Bring it up so we lose in all this. noise here that you can see so I reckon I'm around about 14 pixels for this spin image it looks good and the next then I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do with color detail loss up to around about 18 It's a lot smoother to so keep that. So we've done a noise reduction, <clears throat> but there's still smudges um, and little stars. So we'll try a, another star mask. Also, this time up to maximum clear. picking up bits I don't like that's from that sort of star smudge big one there's no real finesse about this we're just going to see trial and error okay <clears throat> back to hill I'm not happy with that, so I'll keep that. Save it. Now we can open up the stars. Notice on the wipe, we lost some, on the hill, we lost some brightness to the stars, so it's quite easy to fix. Um, let's open up our star mask. Shrink it a couple of times and grow it. Okay. Once and then we're going to try life. Okay, I'm going to keep that for a minute, <clears throat> but <clears throat> clear the mask and we've got that one really bright one there that's not, still not there. Mask that, come back to life and try heavy.
That's it. So we've got our styles back. Save the styles. Alright, so now we're going to open back up our nebula. Don't activate tracking layer. Open stars. Here we want to put add. Keep. And there we have a much cleaner image than normal. Obviously there's plenty more you can do before it in the stars like sharpen um enhancing but that's basically the the method I'm been using that's the, the hill method. Hope it's helped.